All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to calculate profit. Now, essentially, profit is sales minus cost. Um, now, exactly uh, what sort of type of profit that is, whether it's gross profit or what have you, depends on what all is included in your cost. But we just have data here that is labeled sales and cost. And so our profit is just going to be the difference between those two. Now, if you have your data side by side, as was originally uh, in the original data format, you can, of course, insert columns that will then, um, you can create a column for profit and just calculate the profit as the difference between these two corresponding cells that are right next to each other. Uh, but then you have to do that for every day separately. Uh, now, what we did was we reorganized the data into sales sales data table and a cost data table. And that's going to make our profit calculations very easy. We're simply going to create a formula and point at the sales for that day, for that department, and then minus, and then select the cost for that day, for that department. And the formula is that straightforward. And because we've reorganized our data nicely, we can just copy it down the column and then copy it down the rows. And in fact, since we set up our averages in our cost and tables, we can actually copy all the way down and it will calculate the difference between like in this cell, our sales data week one average and the cost data week one average. And it will give us the profit week one average. We do not have to reconstruct our averages because we are recalculating all of these, just the differences and the the profit average is you can you can go ahead and just recreate all your average formulas that is perfectly fine um you could copy these cells here where these formulas are based on these other values um the original daily values you can you can copy those and you'll get exactly the same outcomes as you would from just calculating the difference between your sales and your cost that you previously calculated. So there's actually no need to redo all of the calculations. Um, once you have the sales and cost, all your calculations, you just calculate the differences to get your profit. Same thing for the day of the week averages that we calculated down here. If I wanted to construct a similar table for profit, I would simply do my sales minus the cost for the corresponding entries and then copy them down and copy them down. And likewise, if I wanted to calculate these averages, um, I would I can recopy these formulas. Uh, which are the average formulas that I used or the sum formulas that I used from the previous one. Or I can just continue this difference calculation that I had from the daily values. And you can see that even though these formulas have changed, the values are identical to what we had before. So however you want to do these overall averages, um, do them for sales and cost, and then do the difference to get the profit average, or calculate the daily values and then calculate them using the average and some formulas. Both of them are going to work. Now, we're going to need these averages in order to do the pie graphs later on, and so uh, that's what we have these values for. In the next video, we will talk about calculating profit margin.